All right, we're here with head track and field coach Jess Devine, and you guys obviously have your UMAC championships coming up this weekend. Uh, but just kind of before we preview that, what have you been impressed with so far during the indoor season? I think biggest thing is just our work ethic. Um, you know, just on a day to day basis, everybody wants to um, just kind of go th- go through the grind, get better. Um, always, you know, wanting PRs, everything. Uh, we're a relatively young team, and I think a lot of our freshmen have, have stepped up into you know, that hardworking role um, and our, our upperclassmen have done a great job leading them to that. So, Any surprises that you've been happily surprised with so far during the indoor season? Um, a lot a lot of things, I guess. <laughs> um, a couple standout things. Uh, we have a pretty big freshman group of women throwers. Um, they are all poised to score at the conference meet. Um, so that's been a pretty big um big surprise for us. Um, and, you know, individual standout, I think. Um, Emily Sosinski really stands out, um, both in the hurdles, but also in some of the longer open sprints. Um, and just ran some great times, um, you know, faster than some of our upperclassmen did coming in. So some of our more talented runners. So that's been a pleasant surprise. Um, on the distance side of things, um, our upperclassmen have just made some some big strides. We changed their training up a little bit. Um, so some of the PRs they've been hitting have been pretty exciting as well. So Awesome. I'm looking forward to this weekend. You guys go to Superior mm-hmm. two-day meet. Um, obviously, the first time the conference is going to be held at Superior. Mm-hmm. Um, but what, what are you looking forward to this weekend, or what kind of goals do you have you set for the team? Um, just continue to to improve on what we've been doing. You know, we've been hitting PRs pretty regularly. Um, you know, we, we talked last night at our meeting, um, just, you know, kind of going in, um, with our sights on everybody, um, and just, you know, scoring as many points as we can and, and, you know, getting as many top places as we can. And then kind of looking forward after this weekend, you guys do have a few more meets before the indoor season comes to a close, but looking towards the outside outdoor season, excuse me. How excited are they? I know the weather's actually been pretty nice here. Hopefully mm-hmm. it can continue that way so you guys can get out there pretty quickly. But what 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 pushes them through these final weeks before they can move outside? Um you know, I think just the motivation for, for the conference meet, for the UMEC meet, um, is is a big push at this point in the season. You know, they're they're feeling fast, um, they're starting to feel a little more fresh. Um, and you know, just the idea of getting outside and not training in our hallway is, is motivation enough, I think <laughs> right. sometimes. Um, so looking ahead to that, I think, you, you know, with the improvements we've made indoors, um, I think our, our student athletes just have a really good sight of what they're going to be capable of outdoor. Your, your seniors, have they been able to instill in some of the, you know, you talked about a young team, what it's going to kind of be like for them at the conference meet this weekend? I think so. You know, we had our, um, for our team meeting this week, we actually had our, our captains and upperclassmen lead that meeting um, and just kind of talk about some of their own stories from from UMAC championships, whether they're indoor or outdoor, um, maybe learning moments, maybe moments of excitement. Um, and, and so hearing that from their teammates and people who have been through it before, I think um, really makes a big impact, um, kind of raises a level of excitement Helps them know what to expect a little bit. So, all right. And final question for you: Your first conference meet as a head coach. So, what's kind of the process been like, or what has been different for you moving from an assistant to a head coach? Um, you know, just more responsibility in general. I think just looking at UMAC championships. Um, you, you know, I, I have to do the entries. <laughs> you know, the other than yeah, I mean, you know. In previous years, you know, I had the sprinters and hurdlers. Um, I was kind of, you know, in charge of what they were doing, so that hasn't changed much. This year I have um, all the jumpers as well. Um, but just kind of being um, kind of being the leader of the discussions, you know, when it comes to entries, things like that, you know, talking with Tony and Josh um, about what their plan is, kind of tossing some ideas around here and there. Um, not much has really significantly changed, I guess, other than the title and, and a little more administrative work. So, All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and good luck this weekend. Thank you.